Question number 81. You have an app named App1 that uses Azure AI document intelligence to analyze medical records and provide pharmaceutical dosage recommendation for patients. You send the request to App1 and receive the following response. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The form elements were recognized with greater than 70% confidence. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is option B, no. The response doesn't contain specific form elements with confidence scores. It only includes recognized words with their respective confidence scores and document type information. There are no form fields or elements explicitly listed in the provided response to access their confidence levels. Question number 82. You have an Azure subscription. The subscription contains an Azure OpenAI resource that hosts a GPT-4 model named Model 1 and an app named App1. App1 uses Model 1. You need to ensure that App1 will not return answers that include hate speech. What should you configure for Model 1? Option A, the frequency penalty parameter. Option B, abuse monitoring. Option C, a content filter. Option D, the temperature parameter. The correct answer is Option C, a content filter. It is designed to prevent the model from generating outputs that include inappropriate or harmful content such as hate speech. Configuring a content filter for Model 1 ensures that App 1 doesn't return answers that violate content policies. Question number 83. You have an Azure Cognitive Search instance that indexes purchase orders by using AI document intelligence. You need to analyze the extracted information by using Microsoft Power BI. The solution must minimize development effort. What should you add to the indexer? Option A, a projection group. Option B, a table projection. Option C, a file projection. Option D, an object projection. The correct answer is option B, a table projection. This feature allows you to transform and project data from your index document into a tabular format, which can then be easily analyzed in Microsoft Power BI. This minimizes development effort by providing a straightforward way to format data for analysis. Question number 84. You are developing an application that includes language translation. The application will translate text retrieved by using a function named get underscore text underscore to underscore b underscore translated. The text can be in one of many languages. The content of the text must remain within the Americas Azure geography. You need to develop code 
to translate the text to a single language. You need to complete the following code. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A Option B Option C The correct answer is Option C It is the appropriate endpoint for the North America NAM region within the Americas as your geography. This ensures that the translation service stays within the specified geographic boundaries. Question number 85. You are developing an application that includes language translation. The application will translate text retrieved by using a function named get underscore text underscore to underscore b underscore translated the text can be in one of many languages the content of the text must remain within the america's azure geography you need to develop code to translate the text to a single language you need to complete the following code Which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A Option B Option C Option D Option E The correct answer is Option C This endpoint specifies that the text should be translated to English. The two parameter indicates the target language for the translation, which meets the requirement to translate the text to a single language. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, Feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 86. You are developing this smart e-commerce project. You need to design the skill set to include the contents of PDFs in searches. You need to complete the following skill set design diagram. Which service should you choose for source? Option A Azure Blob Stories. Option B Custom Vision API. Option C Azure Files. Option D Conversational Language Understanding API. Option E Translator API. Option F, Computer Fusion API. Option G, Azure Cosmos DB. The correct answer is Option A, Azure Blob Stories. It is a scalable object storage solution for unstructured data, including documents like PDFs. It integrates seamlessly with Azure Cognitive Search, allowing you to store and manage the documents that need to be processed and indexed for search capabilities. This enables the contents of the PDF to be included in search result. Question number 87. You are developing the smart e-commerce project. You need to design the skill set to include the contents of PDFs in searches. You need to complete the following skill set design diagram. Which service should you choose 
for cracking. Option A, Azure Blob Stories. Option B, Custom Vision API. Option C, Azure Files. Option D, Conversational Language Understanding API. Option E, Translator API. Option F, Computer Vision API. Option G, Azure Cosmos DB. The correct answer is Option F, Computer Vision API. It can be used to extract text and other information from images, including PDFs. The cracking step typically involves extracting readable text from documents and the Computer Vision API's OCR, Optical Character Recognition, capabilities are specifically designed for this purpose. Question number 88. You are developing the smart e-commerce project. You need to design the skill set to include the contents of PDFs in searches. You need to complete the following skill set design diagram. Which service should you choose for preparation? Option A Azure Blob Stories. Option B Custom Vision API. Option C Azure Files. Option D Conversational Language Understanding. API Option E Translator API Option F Computer Vision API Option G Azure Cosmos DB The correct answer is Option E Translator API it is designed to translate text between different languages. In this case, after extracting and preparing the text, you need to ensure that product description, transcript and all text are available different languages. The translator API can handle the translation of text into different languages, ensuring Multilingual support. Question number 89. You are developing the smart e commerce project. You need to design the skill set to include the content of PDFs in searches. You need to complete the following skill set design diagram. Which service should you choose for destination? Option A, Azure Blob Stories. Option B, Custom Vision API. Option C, Azure Files. Option D, Conversational Language Understanding API. Option E, Translator API. Option F, Computer Vision API. API Option Z Azure Cosmos DB The correct answer is Option C Azure Files In the context of a knowledge store the final step involves storing the output data Azure Files provide managed file share that can be used to store the processed and enriched data, making it accessible for data exploration tools or downstream processes. This ensures that the enriched content is available in a structured format for further analysis or querying. Question number 90. You are building an Azure Cognitive 
search custom skill. You have the following custom skill schema definition. For the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Company description is available for indexing. Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option A, yes. As defined in the schema definition, the output section has name, company description, which means the output of this custom skill, company description, is defined and can be used for indexing in Azure Cognitive Search.